Hello, everybody, and welcome to Digium Live. My name is Brian Ferguson. I'm your host, and with me today is Stephen Davis, my good friend. We're very excited to have him. And uh, Stephen uh, works in our marketing department. And um, Stephen, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yep. Uh, so I manage the sales operation department. Um, basically, our group is responsible for uh, all the customer touch points um, that go through our CRM um, solution, which we use Salesforce.com. Uh, so we administer and develop um, um, in that system, and then we also do the business analytics side of things, which we use Pintaho for our business stack. Um, then, of course, we also do uh, sales automation, support automation. So think of things like, um, uh, you know, salesperson clicking multiple things on a screen when I could create one button to change a lead status, log a call, right. and move on to the next record. So that's kind of things that we look at. And of course, we also do business analytics um, and provide that up uh, the chain and to the respective managers. So. Okay, well, great. Well, Stephen has done um, a couple of articles recently that have been really great. And we're going to kind of talk about what uh, what those are and, and uh, what he talked about in those. So the first one that came out recently, a couple days ago, right? Mm -hmm is about um, kind of how to get data out of your business phone system and how to use that data. So um, can you tell us what kind of data can you get from your business phone system and what kind of problems can it solve for you? Yeah, so, you, you know, there's a wealth of knowledge in, in your phone system, um, you know, from, you know, who's, you know, the areas that people are calling uh, to, you know, what are your sales reps calling. So you can actually see, you know, what time of day people are calling, what time people, more importantly, for like a call center manager, what time of day are people calling into your queue? Uh, so it's very important for like your call center managers to, you know, properly staff that queue. No one likes to wait in a in a queue for hours on end. Um, so obviously, the call center's you know goal is to answer calls and you know keep the wait time down. Uh, so that, that that's some great information there. Uh, some other information that's useful are for like um, a sales prospecting team. When does a manager know when you need to hire another person? Well, I can actually grab that data and see how many calls does a prospector make in a day right. and kind of start doing some formulas to figure out, oh, they can make X number of calls in one day and now all five of my prospectors have reached that, that level. Well, it's time for me to hire a new uh, person. Sure. So. Okay, well, good. So, um, you know, modern UC systems have come a long way to deliver this information. How do, what are the kind of things have they done and to make it easier and to make it a lot less expensive than what used to be? Yeah, so, you know, traditional phone systems, um, you know, you'd have to have a, a special IT guy that his only goal in life was to maintain the phone system, right? And if you wanted any information, you'd have to go to that guy and say, please pull out the information. Maybe days later, <laughs> you'd get the information and you know and that's assuming you have either the product add-on or you have the license for it to be able to get that data out of your phone system. Right. Today um, in modern UC systems like Switchbox um, all you have to do is just go in say this user has rights to reports and now that user can go in and self-service uh, for their own needs. So right. um, and then of course there's also API so let's say you're you know, sales op team or your business analytics team, they can actually connect to that using an API with their system, pull that data, put it into the data warehouse for anyone to be able to slice and dice the data sure. or to do data blending with it. So Right. And there's a big difference in cost, I'm assuming, too. For, oh, yeah. For so, I mean, with the UC systems, most of the time, the reporting is just part of it. Um, so that's great because, you know, instead of having to spend this large amount of money you know, for this one little add-on to your phone system, now it's just part of it. Right. So. Okay. So I know there's also a big difference in how the data is delivered and how easily you can access, how quickly you can. There's mm -hmm. a big difference between getting reports on a scheduled basis or real time, yeah. or being able just to get them on my own. Can you tell how how those three things kind of fit and where where the benefits of each one? Yeah. So you know, every line level of a, um, your staff. So let's say uh, a sales rep. You know, a sales rep. Most of the time, they don't really care about analytics. All they really care about is knowing, did I meet my goal today, right? So if you're a prospector who's supposed to call, you know, 10 people, and it's pretty light, and in one day, at the end of the day, they just, just want to get a report that go, yep, I got it. Right. Um, to where your call center manager, they need near real-time data, right, or real-time data so they can, you know, see right now, what does my queue look like? You know, how many people do I have logged in? 
Uh, what is my wait time? Um, and then, of course, they also they need to see at the end of the day, in the week, in the month, how are they doing? And then they're going to compare that trend over time. So hopefully their wait times are going down, um, an impact like that. So everyone needs a little bit different. So some people need the scheduled, some people need the real time. Um, and then sometimes, you know, people need that data blending uh, by pulling that data out and meshing it with, um, you know, maybe a online chat, you know, seeing how that is being staffed along with the call volume so you can actually see difference in trends. Yeah, and it saves a ton of money without, you know, or a ton of time not having to worry about going in every day and pulling the same report. Right. Things just kind of show up in your inbox and there they are. So it's a great. big benefit in that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's change gears a little bit to your uh, your first article, okay. which talked about integrating your CRM system with your phone system, which was really great. And so before we kind of jump into the specifics, can, can you give people who may not know what a what a CRM system is or what it can do for you, kind of give people an overview of the of what that is. Yeah, uh, so the CRM system, uh, which is customer relation management, um, has really changed over the years. Um, traditionally, it was just basically a contact list uh, back in back in the early days, and now it's really become, uh, with Salesforce.com really driving things, it's become the heartbeat of the company. Everything flows through the system. Um, so it, it'll have your, your prospects to your customers to the assets of those customers to what products do they actually have. Uh, your support team can actually work in it, your opportunity. Uh, so all kinds of different things in there. And, and the reason why it's really important to have in your company is and in integrating with like a UC system is think about you know back in the day you know I, I know I've done this is you know someone call in and I'd get my spiral binder out my pen and write some notes and hopefully I'll remember to follow up later um, or I'll remember you know that I had that conversation with that customer they call back in again you know with the CRM I can log in those call notes and set up tasks for later on. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we know that we can combine this CRM with our phone systems today and do some really cool things, um, can you kind of tell that story, kind of how it changed you from a salesperson, exactly like what you're talking about, to now that you have these tools, how did it make your life easier as a salesperson? Yeah, well, as I mentioned, you know, I, I do remember being a sales guy, having to use the binder and then going in and updating Excel spreadsheet and then emailing that out to my, my manager saying, here's my pipeline and here's how many calls I made today. Um, now with the UC system, you know, I can have screen pops on my web browser that shows, hey, here's this incoming call. Oh, it's Brian. Oh, I've talked to Brian before. Um, here's my opportunity that I'm working right now. So I can actually interact with the, the caller in a more intelligent way. I can make notes real time and I can set up follow-up tasks. Uh, I, I know what we've talked about in the past, so it's, it's not a so much a Call, cold call anymore. It's a warm. I, I know you, and it, it makes it, it makes it seem like we're we're friends, right. um, almost, because I know a lot about you right there, just because my system told me. Um, and you know, other things. It could be you know your number one customer. So let's say someone calls in, and you, you see it's your number one customer, and it's like, oh wait, he has an open task, or open case rather, and we haven't answered it in two days. Oh no, this is going to be a bad conversation. <laughs> right. So I may not want to answer the call. No, just joking. Um, but at least I know, hey, this guy's not going to be happy. So I can already have that in my head. How am I going to deal with the situation? So it gives right. you the intelligence of, you know, what is that customer calling me about, um, or that prospect. So yeah, to me, this is the biggest thing that makes unified communications different than legacy systems. That yeah. really ties things in. Can you? Talk about maybe in some other industries where these integrations can really help other businesses besides CRMs. Yeah, so, you know, today, I think everyone's pretty much used to being able to call up your bank. So you can call up your bank, you can say, okay, I want my balance, so hit number two for your balance, type in your, your account code, and it spits back your balance, right? Everyone's pretty much used to it, but I still think that's really cool. Because that data does not live in your phone system, it actually lives in a, some other database in, at the bank, right? So, you know, here is the financial industry really, to me, drove this. But other areas you could do this, um, let's take um, education. So education is, you know, I want to be able to call in and know how's my kid doing in school. So I can call in, type in a PIN number, and can spit out his grades, when was the last time he turned in homework. Or you could tie in a third party um, solution, such as auto dollars, that automatically dial 
you and tell you how your student's doing. So if Brian hasn't turned in his exams lately or maybe got a D on it, it can automatically Very call likely. and tell me. Uh, <laughs> not that that would ever happen, of course. <laughs> right. Um, but it can automatically tell us. So not only can you see systems you know, be interactive, but it can be proactive. So it can actually tell people things. Healthcare, um, I think, is another exciting industry that I can see a lot of use for UC. Um, you know, the big buzzword these days of big data and Internet of Things. You know, basically, big data, people are doing a lot of predictive analytics off of it. You got the Internet of Things, all these sensors connected to your patients. So how does UC tie into that? Well, what, what, what if the predictive analytics said, that patient right there, I think, is going to have a heart attack? It could actually get the people in, the doctors, it could call everyone to be in the room before that guy has a heart attack. So that's, you know, that's the power of combining all these different technologies together. And I think UC has a huge fit in all the industries and in the future of technology. Yeah. All right. Well, Stephen, I definitely appreciate your time today. Some fantastic information. Go check out um, Stephen's articles on our blog at www.digium.com. And we will see you next time on Digium Live.